I tell you, the impacts of this storm just splinters in so many different directions. And with those bees, it's heartbreaking because they are so important. We, a lot of people are fighting for the survival yeah. of honeybees, and then you see that just devastating. Cassie Nall, you're joining us now uh, as our meteorologist, getting ready to head back to Knoxville, I believe. But we have a humid day here. You're not going to miss that. We do. I have I have today, and then I have tomorrow morning, okay. and mm -hmm. then I'm going back up north. But I have some good news to leave you all with. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Coming through in the clutch. That's because <laughs> I control this. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk about it. We've got a beautiful view. Let's start from our St. Petersburg camera. Off in the distance, you can see some of those puffy cumulus clouds starting to develop. This is looking back toward the east, and that's where our showers and storms are going to come from today. They're already kind of starting to develop over our interior areas. We're already hot. 97 is the feels like temperature right now. And there are the showers and storms starting to develop. Now the upper level clouds, that's what you see moving west to east. Those are not what's steering our flow for the day today. It's this low level flow coming east to west across the area, and that's going to allow those showers and storms to develop inland and then work their way back to the west as we go throughout the evening. That will all taper off a little bit after sunset, and then we do it all over again for the day tomorrow. These easterly winds allowing the showers and storms come east to west across the area. We do it again through the day on Saturday, and at times there may be a bit of a breeze now and then. I was talking about that yesterday for the folks that want to get out on the water in the boat. Today's probably your best day because the chop starts to pick up as we go into the day tomorrow. Now let's talk about the tropics. First, Kirk is a major hurricane. Leslie's a tropical storm and once Kirk gets out of the way, Leslie will likely become a hurricane and if not even possibly a major hurricane. Good news with both of those. Neither of them will be directly impacting the United States. Indirectly though, the swells from Kirk may make its way all the way to the east coast of the U.S by the time we get into Sunday. So if you have plans to leave the Tampa Bay area and go over to the east coast of Florida, you'll want to check the rip current risk in that area because those large swells from that hurricane way out in the Atlantic will be reaching the eastern seaboard. And look at this. The chances have come from medium, moderate to low for development in the Gulf of Mexico over the next seven days. Now what this means is that we have currently have disorganized showers and storms. The development is likely going to be limited due to the influence of a frontal boundary across the area. Regardless of the organization though, it does look like we could have some pretty heavy rainfall through the end of the weekend and into early next week. Here's a look at the amount of moisture in the atmosphere, the precipitable water. We're under that green right now. So again, heavy rain will be possible each afternoon with those showers and storms. Now we get into Sunday. There's that broad area of low pressure in the Gulf of Mexico with that counterclockwise flow and it drifts to the east. So that raises our rain chances for Sunday night, Monday and into the day on Tuesday. But here's the good news. This typically happens. You have a tropical system move through and on the back side this time of year, it pulls drier air down from the north and that's what these darker browns and shades of yellow show. A north to northeasterly wind flow would drop the dew points and make it feel a whole lot better outside. It might be your first taste of fall for the season. Now you know the humidity is going to come back because it's still early October, but that's the good news looking ahead. So two good points here. The chances of development in the Gulf have lowered and you might get a little taste of fall as we go into the end of next week. For today, still hot and humid, still feels like summer. A chance of showers and storms with highs near 90, feeling like the triple digits. Again, marine, east, southeast, 5 to 10 knots, seas, 1 feet light chop. We'll see that bumping up as we go into the day tomorrow. And for your 7-day forecast, there are those rising rain chances as we go into next week, and that'll help to bring down the temperatures just a little bit. So rainfall is still going to impact you, but at least we don't have to worry about a terribly organized tropical system coming back to the Tampa Bay area.